To get Seeker mode, you're gonna have to defeat Iskal Queen in a certain way. Iskal Queen can be found in Iskal Temple on Corsus World. She is a nasty boss, but here are some tips on how to defeat her. You're gonna have to bring her to 50% health to get her skinny arms off of that throne. I suggest bringing something that can do damage over time, like Swarm Mod, Hive Pistol, Bleed, Devastator that can do bleed damage and so on. As soon as the fight starts, there's gonna be two waves of beetles coming right at you. Delete them from existence and then start damaging the boss. When you've dealt with the beetles, boss will throw down some kind of corrosive ball, twice. This will create acid pool that you do not want to stand in. Corrosive balls are not that difficult to avoid. So, two waves of beetles, then two corrosive balls. And then boss will start to flap her wings to create two damaging waves on each side of the arena so you need to stand in the middle to avoid damage from those waves as soon as those waves have ended then go to the side because now there's gonna be a single wave coming from the middle after that wave get back to middle again because there's gonna be again two waves on each side this is the usual attack pattern of this boss. Two waves of beetles, two corrosive balls, waves on each side of the arena, then wave in the middle, and then again waves on each side of the arena. Note that boss will constantly throw those corrosive balls all the time, not only after beetles. There's one more attack that is really hard to avoid. Boss spawns some kind of a bug that is attached to your arm and is sitting there still until boss gives an order and then it explodes damaging you in the process. You're gonna hear some kind of a sound effect before this explosion happens but time frame is so narrow that it's really hard to avoid that damage. To get Seeker mode, you're gonna have to kill boss in a special way. At around 50% health, boss will come down from her throne. Now this is the thing, you should be standing before boss comes down from the throne, somewhere beneath those spikes on the ceiling. Eventually you're gonna regain control of your character and then you need to start shooting at the boss's head. Boss will eventually become stunned and at that moment you need to shoot the spike from the ceiling. If boss is positioned correctly, spike will drop down on her and kill her instantly. This will grant you special item that you can exchange for seeker mode. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you soon.